when we print these booklets or catalogs and they get printed out of the 2070 and they print out with the crop marks, I'm gonna show you how to get them cut so we can always be doing it the same way since this number doesn't work for the cutter. The way we're gonna cut these booklets without the registration of the mark is by aligning these crop marks where there's already a crease or a cut left from the blade from previous cuts indented into the orange stick. As you guys can see, the number is not good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the back to a line. Now, always make sure that there's a little bit of space so we can move this thing to get close to it. So now that I'm pretty close, I'm gonna align it. I'm gonna make sure I push it all the way to the back and I'm just gonna look at it. If you see, it aligns really close from that crop mark to that line. And I'm gonna use that as my guide. Now that I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna grab the weight, hold on to this, put it in the back, and then use these at least two to three papers minimum, I like to use four, in top of the print so it doesn't leave any creases on the top. We're gonna lower the holder and then cut. Now that it cut pretty accurate to that crop mark, what I'm gonna do now is grab multiples to be able to cut. When I grab these booklets, what I'm gonna do is always count in even numbers, two, four, six, eight, and then I'm gonna twist it, and I'm gonna do now two, four, six, eight. I'm gonna put this, push it all the way to the back, and then I'm gonna use my hand to push and hold so it can go as much as possible to lean onto this. Grab to my weight, Put it in top. Make sure everything is perfectly aligned. Grab my pieces of paper, put it on top, lower the holder, it looks about right, and then cut. The reason we do in even numbers, it will create a balance on the back. That's what we need. We need to make sure it constantly balances. So either you're gonna do eight and eight or six and six. Once you finish cutting these on the bottom, you're gonna repeat the process for all of them, finishing only one side. Once you're done with that, you're gonna come back and realign it to line up to the top crop marks. We must do this. We cannot cut one side, realign it, cut the top, realign it, cut the side, next batch. That does not work, it's not efficient. We must do it one trim for all of them and then come back and do the next trim for all of them and then come back and do the next trim for all of them. This is the way that we must do it from now on for doing catalogs or booklets, okay? Thank you.